Next, we're going to examine the acromioclavicular joint, also known as the AC joint. Now, this structure is very easy to identify, and I begin by just looking at the patient and identifying their bony acromion, which you can feel by palpation. Next, I'm going to place the probe on the patient, again with the notch facing medially towards the patient. Now, with this structure, it's obviously close to the surface, so we can use a very short depth, and here we are, which should uh, be adequate at 2.7. So here we can visualize the acromioclavicular joint. And if we suspect pathology with this in a patient, we can do a dynamic study and have the patient strain his ac acromioclavicular joint and see if there's any separation or ligamentous laxity. So what I do is I recommend that the patient slowly takes his right arm and reaches it across to his left shoulder while maintaining contact over the AC joint. If you can go ahead and slowly move your left. Great, and back. And what we look for is if there's an abnormal separation between the two acromion and clavicular bones. In some cases of degeneration and osteoarthritis, we'll see irregular bone formations, or even something known as the geyser phenomenon, which is uh, bursal fluid extending out of the acromioclavicular joint upwards.